तो राइट सो गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन वेलकम टू आर ब्रॉडकास्ट सो हियर वी आर हैविंग मिस वी डी राठौर द यंग एंटरप्रेनर एंड दी वन स्टार्टेड इज न्यू स्टार्ट दैट इज कॉल सर्वत्र सो हेलो मिस वी डी राठौर हाउ आर यू Good afternoon, Babita. I'm good. How are you? So I am too good. So will you please? Are you free for right now so that can, we can continue for the interview? Yes, yes. I'm completely free. Okay, that's wonderful. So Miss Vidhi Atta, will you please share something about yourself, a glimpse side about your achievement till now, and the day from where you have started? So it's going to be wonderful for our audience. They will get a a lot about yourself. Uh, so my full name is Vidhi Rathore, and I'm from Indore. And I completed my schooling from Indore itself. I'm a national basketball player, playing for my state MP, uh, representing basketball game uh, through my state to various states like Pondicherry, Delhi. I also played NCC national games. I have uh, represented my team in NBA Jam three on three in Pune. Apart from that, uh, I am uh, I pursued my graduation in computer science and then uh, started uh, pursuing master's degree in journalism and mass communication. And during that, I did a uh, few government job preparation like uh, UPSC, MPPSC, MPPEB, which I cleared too. So yes, that's something about me. That's very much interesting. Actually, you are a basketball basketball player, especially a national player. But one thing I didn't getting it from the B.Sc. student, you have switched to journalism and mass com. How do you get this idea about journalism and mass com? It is maximum student didn't opt for journalism, and you're opting for journalism in masters. Quite interesting. Will you please share something? How do you get this idea of doing mastery in journalism and mass com? So when I was pursuing my graduation in B.Sc. Computer Science, mm-hmm. I completed my graduation in two thousand nineteen. and then i decided to do msc but uh, during that time period i was preparing for army as well uh, through cds entry i gave cds but wasn't able to clear ssb so that was one of my failure but then i thought ki what if i am not able to clear cds then what's my next plan because i don't want to go in this corporate sector uh, doing 9 to 5 job uh, through like being a software coder or something like that so i decided to go for a course which is unique in its own way and uh, by that course i can give myself my whole self to the country so i decided to go to do masters in journalism and mass communication i started searching for colleges best colleges and then i was like it was like lockdown appeared in 2020 so i had to took a, a break small break i took a drop of one year and in 2021 i uh, took admission in sage university and started doing my masters then it was was it worthful or not it was like ki if i do masters journalism especially i can put my views in front of the people to the country because i am very diplomatic person i believe in democracy kind <laughs> democracy and all so i thought ki why should i not do journalism that's the best platform where people can hear me out my point of views my thinking my political abilities uh, where people can know that yes this is this can be the thing there is two part of a coin one is everyone that's everyone seeing because i'm not a pro right now right i'm i'm starting my student career as a master student and then now i'm ending that career so i thought ki why should i leave this opportunity so that's why yes i did masters and i took admission in journalism started doing journalism and started creating my own inability and thinkings and all so yes so will you please share something about your new startup that is sarvatra and how yes. do you get this idea about sarvatra sarvatra sound very interesting a unique name so it was like it started in the month of uh, on uh, august or september i didn't remember exactly but few of my juniors were sitting over there we were just discussing basically uh, about what is happening in india itself because at that time there was a famous uh, news circulating was happening that was of karnataka hijab case and uh, 
after that a few things happened like day by day ha- was happening so we were just sitting and discussing about ki uh, what is happening in country we are actually leaving this uh, uh, platform of democracy and going into monarchy we were just discussing about political parties and all and then uh, one of my junior uh, he said that uh, why should we not uh, uh, make a you know platform where we can tell our point of view and uh, spread it uh, to the people so i asked that what can we do so he said ki let's make an uh, you know website and okay where we will uh, put put up the point of views we'll write articles editorials on various topics be it entertainment be it defense be it uh, uh, health be it fashion be it uh, politics be it environment science and tech etc etc so yes we decided to open a news platform called sarvatra sarvatra the name came from a uh, uh, gujarati movie it was at tatr sarvatra it was the idea of that that guy neeraj so he gave me the idea that why don't we keep a name sarvatra because sarvatra means everywhere exactly everywhere and as a news media person a media person tend to be happening in everywhere he or she has an eye in every sector in every point in every direction so yes that's why we keep this name sarvat and uh, that's then we discuss this with our uh, uh, hods and all and they really like that idea then there is something unique in this uh, platform is that we are uh, we 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 work through our english language our medium is english a combination of hindi and english so that's how we deliver the news so how you will make unique for the audience because every day a thousand of websites are coming in so how your website will make audience a new platform actually you are telling that the, this platform will provide a lot of information regarding politics sciences even army related too but how you will make unique and a different platform because people like unique and unknown things uh basically we are still working on it it's okay. not like uh, ready or something but my idea is to take it in a different level like for example okay. there is a famous person who is a very fa- who get a padma shri in some kind of uh, you know in any kind of field okay then what our team will do is we'll contact that person we'll take an interview but it that interview should be in in a manner that why he or she tends to do that like why he chooses that particular thing okay that professional yes that profession and then we want to know the experience and on basis of that experience we'll write an article we'll publish the goods and the bads and that's how we'll deliver it apart from that we have another idea of uh, dealing in defense especially defense strategy which is known as i think you like a lot about defense Yes. How and do you get this idea about defense, and how you are too much inspired from the defense, especially from army? Is there something family background related to it? Yes. Uh, I belong to a defense uh, background. That's my father. Yes, my father is in BSF. My and my uncle, he is in uh, police. My uh, grandfather was uh, was in police. He got retired recently. The so my background. Is right now. <laughs> That's the reason. yes so that and actually the real uh, thing babita is that people today's generation is only aware of what whatever is going on they are not aware of the background how it is working yeah, yes i am so, totally agreeing with you yes people know ki acha this is happening okay this happened but how that happened like today rbi if today rbi told that we'll, they will uh, ban they'll discontinue the 2000 rupee note people are not searching the real theory of of that story they are, are just time limited they are not yes. ever exactly they are not interested in finding out the reason exactly if 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 karnataka if congress is winning in karnataka then why they are winning that's the real background theory bjp or karnataka is bjp or congress is different thing but how that party came that's important the theory behind that it is important Okay, I hope, I hope so that your Sarvatra will provide that theory to the audience, the actual theory that is missing out from the people. Thank hope, you. Hope so. Thank so you. this is all, 
anything else you want to deliver to our audience what message do you want to give to the public or the viewer so that they can keep in their mind while finding out anything regarding something i believe that every person on this earth is a journalist in itself right. everything happening in our surrounding is uh, like you should you must inform the public whatever is happening and i believe that everyone should stand for the right thing because uh, i believe i think that right now we are in very much of danger be it in politics be it in environment especially i'll say so i that's my message to the public that uh, please uh, you know understand your rights talk about your rights and uh, perform your duties regarding the country because right now we are not doing that so in a way and uh, i believe in brotherhood fraternity so yes i want that we should be live in peace and all so yes that's my message thank you oh, thank you for your message and wishing you a lot for your upcoming exams for your entrance exam and thank wishing you. a lot for your new upcoming project that is sarvatra hope so this sarvatra will spread all over the world Thank, thank you, you Miss Vidhi Rato, for your wonderful time, and thank you, BetanWestInCity.com, for giving me the opportunity to conduct this interview with Miss Vidhi Rato. Thank you, Sweetie Ma'am. Thank you. Have a thank wonderful you. day.